Do not jump! Do not jump! Whoa! Getting a little slow on us. I'm full power. Okay. Autopilot disconnect. Tower, Cherokee 773, November is holding short of four left, ready for departure, and I did pick up information, Papa. Romeo, apologies. <laughs> Cherokee 3, November, on departure, flight 360, runway 4 left, clear for takeoff. On departure, I'll fly heading 3604 left, cleared for takeoff, 773, November, thank you. All right, full power, airspeed is alive, maintain center line, all gauges are in the green. There's 65. Are heavy, so they're 70 and rotate. There we go. I'm at about 100. Don't see any birds, so that's a good sign here. Check your three, November contact departure, safe flight. Over to departure, take care, 773 November, thanks. Fuel pump off, fuel pressure's in the green, landing light off, and everything's looking good. Good morning, departure, Cherokee 773 in November, checking in, climbing through 1,300, heading 360. 3 in November, Milwaukee, Ident, maintain 4,000. Ident, climb, maintain 4,000, 3 in November. All right. Autopilot on, heading mode active, continuing a climb, 100. 3 in November, radar contact off Timmerman, fly heading of... Uh, Try hitting a 300 climb and maintain. Uh, we'll climb maintain 6000, proceed direct JB. Climb and maintain 6000, direct JB, 773 in November. Now we're gonna hit a cloud. There we go. For show. For show. For sure. Be a big old rock quarry over there. I think I remember that last time we were here. Okay, eyes inside. We got about 2,900 feet to go. Airspeed's good, all gauges in the good. Um, in the good, in the green. <laughs> you enjoy looking at the clouds, I'll keep us safe, don't worry. Bumpy. For two seconds. Oh, we're going back in. THT looks fantastic. That's been doing well. Ah, let's see what it does now that I leaned it out. Eyes inside. Uh, what's your presentation? That bug hit my window. That was disgusting. <laughs> Bring some power back here. Awesome. All right, so I leaned out our mixture to go about 10 gallons or so per hour. That's what I wanted to burn. And our CHT has come down to 403. It actually came up from what it was when I didn't lean out the mixture, but that is still looking great. Our PMs are 2650. Uh, we're going 141 miles per hour over the ground. Everything is looking awesome. Two hours, 43 minutes to our destination as of right now. And hopefully that'll get a little bit faster as we continue our climb. Definitely we're gonna be going through some more clouds. My rough air speed is 129 miles per hour, so that's what I'm trying to go into these clouds with, just in case they are bumpy. Eyes inside, everything is looking good. Air speed's 126. Yeah. Bumps right here. Bang. All right, power back down to about 2450. Temperature in the clouds, 45 degrees. Yeah, looks like we're actually going to be in this layer for a while. Until they, they let the me climb. We have burned five gallons of fuel. Um, that's roughly 30 minutes. So we're going to go ahead and switch tanks by turning our electric fuel pump on. Switching over here to the left tank, fuel pressure's in the green, electric fuel pump off, and fuel pressure stays in the green. Perfect. Back to the clouds we go. Going into clouds always cools the engine down quite a bit. Cools the pilots down too.
There's another quick question for those watching the video. Do you like watching? Uh, do you actually like watching it when she's in the clouds, or do you prefer it when she's in the blue skies? Leave a comment. Let her know, basically, but it lets both of us know, but let her know. November, climb and maintain 8,000. Climb and maintain 8,000, 773 in November. Thank you. All right. So it took about 40 minutes, but we are continuing our climb up to 8,000 feet. 3-8 November, contact Rockford Approach, 121.0. 121.0. Have a good day. 3 in November. Good morning, Rockford. Cherokee 773 in November. Checking in. Climbing through 6,500 for 8,000. Summer 773 in November. Rockford approach. Rock Center 3014. 3014. 773 in November. Thanks. And we are climbing really badly. So we're going to do 100 and we're going to lean out that mixture a little bit. CHT's 382. So I'm comfortable with doing that. Just see if we can get 500 feet per minute. There we go. That's looking better. Burning less gas. And that little beep sound just means that we have 1,000 feet to go until we will level off at our selected altitude, which is 8,000. Well, everybody, right now our game plan is we are flying to... I don't know what it's called. Hold on. You picked this airport, so hopefully it's a good one. In Lay, Ohio, we're going to stop here and get gas. Now, obviously, if we have plenty of gas as we get a little bit closer, we can actually find an airport that's a little further away because we're trying to make it over to Pennsylvania today. Okay, that was good timing. So we are leveling off at 8,000 feet. Our CHT came up to 409, but that's still looking good. So I'm going to lean it out and see if I can get to about 10 gallons or so per hour for my burn rate. All gauges are still in the green. And it is 48 degrees up here, but it doesn't look like we're going to hit any more clouds unless they continue to rise, which is possible. We're going to set our RPMs to be about 2650. All right, we just hit our first waypoint, JB, um, which was super awkward to figure out when I was on the ground, but we got it, so that's always good. And now we are going to be flying to Simmon. I think it's Simmon. Sierra, India, Mike, Mike, November. And we're about 20 minutes away from that waypoint now. So we have two hours and 20 minutes until we reach our destination. That is going to be where we are going to get gas. However, right now we have about four and a half hours worth of fuel still on board and we'll still have an hour of reserve. Hang on guys, hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Hey, do not jump, do not jump. So it sounds like there was a VFR pilot that entered that airspace or the area where those parachuters were about to jump out of the airplane, which is why they became frantic and stopped the jump until that VFR pilot had left the area. And pretty exciting to hear because that's a first for me. Pops, have you heard anything like that before? No, I've never heard or seen that. And, and any time you're, uh, they usually are talking a lot at those airports when they're doing jumps. So VFR pilots should have known better than probably flying near that airport or at least monitored their Unicom to see if the jump site was active. In Chicago approach, Cherokee 773 in November, we are coming up on Waypoint Kelsey, and you want me to continue heading 197, is that correct? November, affirmative. I'll have a turn on course for you shortly. Roger, no problem. Appreciate it. 773 in November. All right, guys, so I just got clarification from ATC because my route is actually to fly to the Kelsey Waypoint, which I'm passing now because they told me to fly a certain heading, and it is also for parachute activity. So looks like there's a lot of parachute activity here in Illinois, but you guys can actually see what that looks like here on our sectional chart. Hey, that's the vector for parachute activity. We'll always vector for them skydivers here. Alpha is 10 right. <laughs> Now that was pretty funny. I was thinking the same thing. I just wasn't going to say it. November, clear direct your destination. Climb and maintain 9,000. Clear direct destination. Climb and maintain 9,000. 773 November. Thank you. All right. So we have been in the air for about an hour and a half now. We finally got cleared up to 9,000. Right now it shows 233 nautical miles. One hour, 40 minutes until we reach our destination. Could you imagine if ATC came on here and called you Pops? You That's would keel over. That is you know happen. what? We'll include this part of the audio in the video. ATC will get the hint. I'm going to turn my music off too. Using gonna... my Bose A30's Bluetooth noise cancellation at its finest. I was listening to some tunes. Of course, never missed a radio call. But I just hit pause so that I can go through the clouds fully focused. 
Well, in the meantime, while we're waiting, we have about an hour and 15 minutes until we get to our destination. So after we pass up these clouds, I'll start looking at my weather, what the airport name is, all that good stuff, any other impertinent information I might need to know for my notams. Uh, and then I'll figure out which runway I'm going to use and start planning on that. I'm hoping the field is still going to be VFR, but if we have to shoot an instrument approach, no problem. I'm feeling good. CHT is rocking for 11. All gauges are in the green and we still have almost three and a half hours of fuel. So we're doing really, really well today. We have a 27 mile per hour tailwind. So we're going 162 over the ground right now, which is pretty awesome. Yeah, look at you can see that one moving pretty fast. Yeah, that's wild. I just think this is so cool. So I wanted to show you if you look at the top of these clouds, you can actually see them building. And about an hour later, this turned into a thunderstorm. And approach Cherokee 773 at November. Can we deviate by about five degrees here for a build up in front of us, please? Did you say right or left? To the right would be preferred for 773 at November. November 3, November deviation right of course approved and when able, you're clear direct destination. Deviation to the right approved when able, clear direct destination. 773 at November. Thank you. I'll just skim this one. Drag the, drag the camera through the cloud. I'm trying. <laughs> it's almost surreal, right? It's almost like it's a painting. You're flying through a painting sometimes with yeah. the clouds around you. It's just so, so, uh, it's really pretty. It just looks very majestic. Yeah. Well, that didn't exactly work out the way I was hoping, but you know what? It's all good. It was still fun. We still got a few bumps, as you guys can clearly see right now. And uh, we're an hour and five minutes away. Pausing the music again. Eyes inside again. I'm ready. Eyes inside, airspeed's 125, altitude 9000, all gauges are in the green, fuel is on the proper tank, we're looking good. All right, here we go. Medium chop. Lost about 40 feet. Let's bring in some more power. Airspeed dropped down to 105. Good amount of updrafts over here. Medium chop. Definitely had worse. Whoa. Getting a little slow on us. I'm full power. 39 degrees. Let's turn on that car, Pete. Ooh. Okay, autopilot disconnect. Gonna hand fly. Approach Cherokee 773 in November. We are actually kind of in a small descent right now. We were getting really slow on that airspeed trying to hold 9 or 1,000 going through these clouds. That's fine. Whatever you need for clouds is fine. Good afternoon. Approach Cherokee 773 in November is checking in. Currently descending through 8,700 for 7,000. For 773 in November, Roger. And what else do would you like to get an 8,000? Uh, we could take eight or we can go down to seven. Whatever you need is fine with us for 773 in November. Cherokee 3 in November, Roger. For now, maintain 8,000. For now, maintain 8,000. 773 in November, thanks. Now that we're out of those clouds, airplane is back to being safe. I feel good. He feels good. We're all good. So basically what was happening is we were having so many updrafts and a little bit of downdrafts. I ended up going full power on one of those updrafts and our airspeed dropped to about, what was it, 90? Got down to 88, what yeah. I saw. And so I started my descent to keep my airspeed up. I disconnected autopilot. I was hand flying. And uh, then we let ATC know what was going on. And it just goes to show, if you need something, you just have to let them know. Most times they're gonna work with you. Very good learning experience. At the end of the day, airspeed is king, right? That's right. <laughs> okay. Alrighty y'all, more clouds. We're descending through 6,400 now for 5,000. Uh, we have a pretty good airspeed. All gauges are still in the green. Just switched our tanks, so we're looking good so far. Eyes inside. We requested 5,000, so we're trying to get underneath this cloud layer. Not to mention we're only about 30 minutes away from the airport, so it's better to be lower coming in, because ATC is less likely to make you do a bunch of stuff. We have a thousand feet to go. Outside air temperature is 49 degrees. Getting warmer as we get lower. Not by much. I closed my vent. <laughs> this is a dark one. The dark ones always scare me. Always freak me out. Always expect it to be really bad inside the dark ones. This one you can see. This camera should be picking up that it's really dark. 
Funny thing is, is the dark clouds are usually the most calm. And just like that, we're out of the clouds. All right. Eyes outside. Look at that. Good job on the commentary, keeping them entertained <laughs> while I'm flying. I like it. <laughs> cool. Okay, so we just picked up the weather. Altimeter set to 3005. Winds are coming from 320 at 10, gusting 14. Not too bad. 10 statue miles of visibility. Love to see that. And there's a few clouds at 4,300 feet. We're 23 minutes away, so we're going to be starting our initial descent here shortly. And so far, so good. And approach Cherokee 773 in November. We'll go ahead and cancel IFR with you, please. At 3 in November, that was you canceling. Affirmative for 773 in November. November IFR cancellation with three squat VFR, free exchange proof. Okay, we're going to come in and land on runway 36. It looks like most of that traffic is leaving the area, doesn't it? It does. Okay. Well, so far, everybody, we have been in the air for three hours and six minutes. We have about eight minutes until we're going to be landing, so we did well. Where are you going? To the airport. Where are you going? I see the runway. So you're on a left base right now. Okay, good. That was what I was planning on. Okay. Power to 18. All gauges in the green. Airspeed's coming down into that wide arc here. Boom. First notch flaps. 10 degrees. Cute little farmhouses beneath us. It is. I've been looking at all the farms. Yeah. Love it. Electric fuel pump and landing light are on. Rotating beacons on. Pedo heat car heat is off. Mixture is full rich. Finlay traffic. Cherokee 7738 November. One mile final. Finlay for 3-6. Two white, two red. Looking good. We are lined up on runway 36. All gauges are still in the green. Airspeed slowly coming down. The wheat. A little bit of a crosswind. A little bit. Not bad. Really not having to correct much, which is cool. All right, everybody, as you can clearly tell, we are coming in to land, but as soon as we park the airplane, we are going to go straight to downtown to get something to eat and do a little bit of exploring. So don't leave early and I'll meet you there. After landing, I taxied to the FBO, found a tie down spot, and then was offered a hangar space for Lil Red. So of course I took him up on that, hopped in an Uber and got to my hotel. I haven't worn a helmet in years. <laughs> okay, so we are in Findlay, Ohio. It is the definition of a cute little sleepy town. Um, it is 3.37 on a Sunday and almost everything is closed. That's not a wave. But... Finley! 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 <laughs> After trying three separate restaurants, we finally found one that was open, got some food, and then came across this cool little bar cafe that had free arcade games that you could play. And if you know anything about Pops and I, we love games just in general, so this was awesome. Now, normally I'm a Marriott girly, but everybody in town was telling me I had to stay at the Hancock Hotel, and oh my gosh, it was stunning. The rooms were a good size, the bed was super comfy, and they gave me free chocolate-covered pretzels. I mean, you really can't go wrong. We made it. 